uh, but I, maybe I am now. Um, it doesn't. It doesn't change anything. The only thing is that you know you're a bit. You're, you know you're guided. you you know you're sort of guided by a certain you know ins inspiration. Mm -hmm. I believe that uh, you know there are also uh, Muslim um, artists who are deep rooted in the in the Islam practice. Mm -hmm. I believe there are traditionalists who are deep rooted in in you know their their faith. Mm -hmm. So um, I mean, in as much as I mean, as they exist, I do exist as well. Mm -hmm. So I don't think that we we confuse. Um, because that that the Jean H. Kweku was saying that now you are an evangelist. I, I mean, every Christian is an evangelist. So, Trigmatic is an evangelist. Every Christian is an evangelist. Including Trig. Every Christian is an evangelist. <laughs> <laughs> because, I mean, the core, the reason is, the reason is, one of the core, um, one of the core uh, mandates is, is to spread, spread the good news, you understand? Mm. So, it's not as if, I uh, have the title as, but I'm an, I am mandated to mm -hmm. to do that. If I meet someone and we're having a discussion, I mean, um, I can chip in a word or two. Doesn't make me like a, a priest mm -hmm. or anything of, of that sort. But mm -hmm. it's in my is in my way mm -hmm. to to be able to spread mm -hmm. and and spread. I mean, I've had so many invitations as well. Uh, but I, as a matter of fact, even last so, year. So sometimes you even preach in churches. You get invitation mm -hmm. to preach. No, not to preach. I'm not a preacher, but I mean, I, yeah, yeah. I mean, I I mobilize the youth in my church I mean, if I have to. Um, like I was saying last year, I was invited by a friend to all the way to Nigeria for like a, a meeting, and then they are they're a, they're a bunch of Muslims, and mm -hmm. we you know we had a really good time and we had a talk and everything, and it was all in the way to try and say you know Charlie Trick, if you join me, no go bad, mm -hmm. you know. So people are doing all all mm -hmm. sorts of things so do, to do you perform, populate. Do you their, perform in the church? In my church. Uh, do you sing? Yeah, sometimes, yeah. Sometimes yeah, you sing? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. What are the songs you sing? Nobody knows tomorrow? <laughs> well, my songs are songs that I can perform in, in, in the church. So when you um, sing in the church, do you sing I your songs or you sing the, the, other gospel songs? The thing with me, I do more than singing in my church. Okay. I, I'm, I mean, I'm a youth leader in my church. So, oh, okay. like I said, I do youth mobility. We go, we probably, we do, we go beyond... Um, even just evangelizing, sometimes mm -hmm. mobilize them. Let's do cleanups. Let's uh, we talk to them about career. Okay. We talk to them about because so many other people um, are there as well. You see, one thing that we, one thing that I don't want us to also do is to um, uh, um, sort of single out um, when it comes to the art. You mm -hmm. know, because I mean, every other job is is, is secular. Mm -hmm. You know, being a doctor, let mm -hmm. him. Um, architect whatever you know whatever thing it is mm -hmm. so we tend not to ask those people these same questions you understand mm -hmm. uh -huh. so it doesn't change okay. this is this is my profession so what it means is that tonight you can perform at the onyx night club sunday you're also performing in the church but i'm picky with my shows you are I'm, picky i'm picky with my shows. what do you choose and what do you ignore well it, it depends well most importantly uh, money is number one mm -hmm. You know the money is very very important. Exactly. Uh, num number two, most of the events don't give me what I want. Like for instance, I say okay, I want to play with the band. Mm -hmm. You know, I want to play with the. It's very technical. They are not when I say I'm picky. It's nothing. Uh, it's very technical. Okay. And most often they say, oh, but we don't want their life. Mm -hmm. You know, and I say that I want their life. Mm -hmm. You know, so if you cannot, uh, you know, help, even if it's just acoustic, I prefer that. Mm -hmm. And let's or mm -hmm. let's do mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. a, 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 you know, like a mash up with the dj and still have maybe my guitarist or my drummer in the back and then they will still say no mm. i mean i can't compromise if you can't then i can't mm. you know, yeah. i want to believe you are still doing active radio yes yes um how does it feel when one is a musician on radio mm -hmm. on his platform he plays his song but then he monitors other platforms and they are not giving him that rotation. Uh, I've heard Andy yeah. Dusty talk about this. <laughs> Black Rasta talks about this. So I want to know what uh, Trig will also tell me. Because yes, on your platform, maybe YFM, yeah. yourself or other colleagues there will play. But maybe you tune into Xylophone FM and... I'm some, not playing it. Some yeah. is <laughs> <laughs> How does it make you feel when you, you know that anytime when you go on air, you, you play keep other, promoting other uh, songs? Yeah, I'll call you. <laughs> <laughs> I will yeah. call you. I'll call you to play it. Um, mm -hmm. People pick what they want to play, especially on radio. Mm -hmm. When I sit behind the console um, and I'm vibing with a DJ, Charlie, sometimes he feels like he wants to play a certain within a certain BPM range, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and I can't push him uh, mm -hmm. so so much. It doesn't make me feel any type of way. I, I'm a very big-hearted person. 
-hmm. you know mm -hmm. i'm not really bothered by what people feel or think or so i'm not i'm not really bothered mm -hmm. you, you understand mm -hmm. but i believe that when the time is right everybody is going to play mm -hmm. you understand i've been mm -hmm. on radio before and mm -hmm. i still had nobody knows tomorrow mm -hmm. as one of the biggest songs mm -hmm. in 2010 2011. Mm -hmm. um my song with raquel ij came in 2013 2014 and it was big and i was still on radio mm -hmm. you know so if 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 it's the people's choice they will play it mm -hmm. you know you understand so me yeah, i'm not bothered <laughs> so, so have you given a tip to any radio presenter to play your song before I wouldn't say that. Uh, I, say I don't that. want to call it Payola. That's why but I said the tip. You know, but your brother, you have to know that uh, I've been around for a minute, you know, so <laughs> my relationships with them count. Okay. You know, my relationship with them count. Some of them too, Charlie. They do like. Uh, they they know that they have artists too. <laughs> so, <laughs> the so, they, so they are forced to play. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. I don't want to believe that is that. Mm -hmm. I believe that we have a good. I have. I, pre I believe in relationships, mm -hmm. so I feel mm -hmm. like if I do mm -hmm. um, bring my song, they play it because of the good relationship they have with me. Mm -hmm. Like um, Andy, sometimes he calls me, you mm -hmm. know, Charlie, mm -hmm. I had the song on this platform, but why don't we have it? Uh, some other people, like Dr. Pounds and Co, they call me themselves. Uh, I, re I really love uh, Massive mm -hmm. here. I mean, he calls me, Charlie, what's the new, yeah. what's the new song? You know, mm -hmm. what are you promoting? Mm -hmm. And uh, sometimes I call them as well, mm -hmm. you know, so... <laughs> but, but you also take for musicians because you're on radio. No, we do, know our, do, you our receive, place, do, you have, do you receive appreciation? We have a policy in our place. The people don't come to us directly. Um, they go to the head of music okay. and then he deals with them. They plug in from there. Yeah, so we don't know what happens. <laughs> <laughs> it's something they should go to. No, so may, maybe you go. get your appreciation in the form of salary or something. Uh, hey, my salary is... Uh, yeah. And it's good, so. <laughs> <laughs> so how many years so far in your career? Um, I'll say I'll say ten. Mm. I'll say ten. Um, it should have been nine and a half. <laughs> 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 because um, you know, the initial one it was just an EP I released. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. But I'll say I'll say ten because um, okay. I started performing with some of the old artists um, mm -hmm. back then. Okay, I wouldn't say old artists, but the artists of the older generation. Mm -hmm. Um. You know, like the Tinies. I was back at back Tiny for like two years, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. on and off stage. Mm -hmm. And there's so many songs that have my vocal on as well that I don't really, you don't really, I'm not, you don't see me on, you don't mm -hmm. hear me on, mm -hmm. but I'm in the back. Mm -hmm. um, likewise, other other artists, I've, I've served under so many people okay. too. So yeah, he has been, it's been about, mm -hmm. about uh, 10. A decade. A decade, yeah. I see. So I hear you have a concert very, very soon. Yeah. Is that to celebrate the number of years you've been in the game? Yeah, well, it, it, is, it was, that is my management's idea. But okay. me, for, if it was left to me alone, I was just celebrating good music mm -hmm. um, over these years. I just want to be, I like to, um, you know, be as modest as I can. Um, <coughs> I just want to ask to have a night where people can see the other side mm -hmm. of me, mm -hmm. you know, um, and especially the band also, because the band has been with me for a while, mm -hmm. and I, I, I felt like we you should... You mean your own band? Yeah. The, the, the what, what is the name for that band? Safwa Band. Oh, it, Safwa Band. I don't own it, but like I co... It's a partnership. Like currently now we have a studio where I put it together, mm -hmm. and then they work in there, mm -hmm. you know, it's like a live rehearsal studio. So it's... Um, do, it's been, do you rent it to other musicians? Yes, 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 it's actually, yeah. Mm. It's, it's, Where is it located? It's, it's in East Lagos. Oh, wow. Mm. But, but I, I, I'm always in the back. <laughs> I'm always I in know. the back, yeah. I know. So um, um, it's been a very good partnership. Like we've traveled around. We've had good and bad times. We've we fought. <laughs> we've we fought. We've come back. People have left the band and come back. Um, even me myself, I've had good moments and bad moments. And these are moments that I put in songs mm -hmm. that now I want to you know share. Uh, with the rest of uh, the world, I, I believe that we, we have enough songs. Like, I remember on my birthday, you know, uh, Killer Fingers played my songs for 30 minutes non stop, and um, I, di I didn't even think I had that much. <laughs> 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 I didn't know, I didn't know I had, you know, those many, uh, you know, as, as many songs as 
he played and he, he didn't even finish all the songs wow. you know so for me all these songs people like and people enjoy I mean I have three albums it's good to celebrate I have a, you know a number of awards it's good to um, celebrate and let people know that oh this, this has been it's also a re-announcement mm. and for mm. people to know mm. their new 10 years generation. of Trigmatic that yeah. is good when are we doing this concert? it's on the 26th of January okay yeah and it's at uh, Alliance Francais Alliance Francais yeah. um, I know you wouldn't do this alone because oh, yes. you have friends and loved ones in yeah, the music sure. fraternity sure. so who else is going to be on that platform? Ha! I mean, <laughs> I wanted to keep that for. No. I wanted to keep that. <laughs> <laughs> not but, here, not here yeah, at all. But um, one thing I want to say is I'm honoring. In fact, that's a very important part of the show for me. I'm honoring one of Ghana's biggest music legends on that night. Mm -hmm. um, I ha I've had a very good relationship with um, his genre of music, mm -hmm. and I, I feel like he's played a very good role. Now that he's alive. He's not too well, mm -hmm. but um, you know he's he's okay, and I I would want to honor him on the night. So um, that's a very key thing I want to say. Mm -hmm. um, and then um, I have my friend. You, you only said him, 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 him throughout. <laughs> <laughs> Who is him? Okay, I'm talking. About, <laughs> I'm talking about Black Chinese, the Black Chinese. Uh, about the other one. Yes. <laughs> wow. Yes. So we, we will be doing. Um, something you know that that night um, i must say that over the years for two three years i performed with almost every um legendary um artist mm -hmm. uh, from the george darkos mm -hmm. uh, i played with osibisa mm -hmm. not the entire band because you know most of them are not uh, around but uh, i saw solama feels birthday I, I performed with Pesta simon's band mm -hmm. i've performed with amashi Dede. i've performed with um the likes of uh, the daddy Bloombers yeah, and co so um it's 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 important that oh, you know okay. we 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 so honor the is, fathers is, of the land. Uh, Boba for Black Chinese also going to perform at the night. Well, we are just honoring him, so okay. I'm doing his songs with his son. Uh, yeah. Adafujinia. Adafujinia, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but but it's it's going to be a good uh, you know good mashup. Mm -hmm. But I'm also that that same night I'm honoring uh, Hugh Masakela because um, it's just around the same time that he. Mm -hmm. Past, mm -hmm. you know. So yes, I'm doing his song uh, "Send Me," mm -hmm. um, a rendition of that okay. song, as well. And yeah, so many other other performers. So we have um, the, the the new school act on. Mm -hmm. But I have seen um, um, seen a soul. Mm -hmm. We have um, AI, of course, mm -hmm. um, Wallace, yeah, all the guys from the on the, everybody I've recorded with mm -hmm. um, is going to be on. So everybody I have a song with is yeah, on. going to be there. Going to be on. Um, Richard Fadafo's song is your favorite. Ha. Yesterday I was playing someone we she did a mu in Kai Mu between Kari. Oh Kai Mebo. I have also been a fan of her, but where the other for us and he said Yabuatma. You know, Yabuatma is like everyone's favorite. favorite. Yeah. But this one the message was a bit funny and I they say he said it's about a woo. It's something about a woo. A woo is on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I, where the angle where he took the story, the story from, and, and I think that he's a storyteller. Okay. So yeah. Is it a song where he talked about he was born by a river, these a boy in Sweden? Yeah. A so way near home, yeah. Yeah, so what that, yes, ah, yes. And song, yeah. They are forcing me to perform that song, <laughs> but I'm trying to pick one that I can, uh, you know, like Yabuatma. Yabuatma is simple, can but you, actually, can you sing it? I actually have a version. No, of can you sing Yabuatma? I try a little bit. Hello, you know, <laughs> let, me, let, let me feel you. Let me feel a trick. <laughs> Let's play it and I'll sing it. <laughs> I because the other ones I'm struggling. The worst. Yes, you know, because you know, I'm I love Ga, my mm -hmm. tongue and Ga is uh, here, yeah. but very I'm trying that night. I'll definitely but put to it say up. Adolfo is someone you have been listening to his songs. Bit no, my I, mic. I said his journal, okay. his journal, okay. Because when you started, I knew you to be a hip hop guy, some That's YFM, you, you yeah. boy. So I'm sure you're mentioning the word. No, the thing is, I found out. Uh, at a point, okay, I met um, Uncle um, Ebo Taylor mm -hmm. in Nigeria when we played uh, Felabration, when mm -hmm. they honored him that night. Mm -hmm. And I felt sad that I didn't know him then. Mm -hmm. When, you know, they brought the governor of Lagos State mm -hmm. and he gave him an honorary and Feles children came around, you mm -hmm. know, and I didn't know him. 
mm-hmm. and he was he's Ghanaian, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. they said you know so the people in the back, they, you know so they felt like you know that's you know that's your. And you know Nigerians have a thing with respecting mm-hmm. their elders. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So they felt like, you know, that's your gun. So I had to pretend. <laughs> I had to pretend. <laughs> but I felt I felt bad. I, you know, I didn't so I started listening to their their sound. I started listening to their music. Mm-hmm. Or you know, and I found out that you know the likes of Asha and, and Co. have sampled the man's songs. Mm-hmm. You know, and I started getting into, you know, his sound, you know, his music. So that's when I chanced upon many other musicians like him, like mm-hmm. even the Pambo International Band, mm-hmm. where mm-hmm. I tried to mm-hmm. sample the Show Me Your Love. Mm-hmm. Not the exact song, but get mm-hmm. the, the vibe of the song. So I, I felt, and then it helped me to find the connection between Afro beat and high live music. And when you look at, you know, the angles where um, the two merge, you, you could tell the, the Ghanaian influence yeah, uh, yeah, in yeah. there. So that day when I came back, I was even telling Genius and Co that, Charlie, this one, yeah, we don't try. Mm-hmm. You know, so it was, you know, from that era. So that's why I came back. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I came back and I did Motro Mojo, if you can, if you can remember. Yeah. You know, right after that, I did Motro Mojo because I wanted to get the African sound in my music. And since then, I felt, I fell in love with our, our mm-hmm. sound. Yeah. Trick's favorite musician. 